A small fire burns brush near Modi'in in central Israel. This is the aftermath of a hypersonic ballistic missile launched by the Iran-aligned Houthi rebels in Yemen, more than 2,000 kilometers away. The Israeli enemy should expect more strikes as we approach the first anniversary of the Ablesh October 7th operation. These include continued support operations for the oppressed Palestinian people. Sari referencing the October 7th terror attacks carried out by Hamas in which the group killed 1,200 people in Israel and kidnapped more than 250 others. Tens of thousands of Palestinians have been killed in Israel's counteroffensive in Gaza. Israel reported no fatalities or injuries in this weekend's missile strike, but Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed vengeance while addressing his cabinet. We are in a multi-front campaign against Iran's axis of evil. They should have known by now that we exact a heavy price for every attempt to harm us. Hamas is already learning this through our determined action, which will bring about its destruction and the release of all of our hostages. Despite his pledge to bring hostages home, many Israelis say Netanyahu is simply not doing enough. He doesn't care that they'll die. He doesn't care about nothing. He cares only about continuing ruling. And he's not even ruling. He's not, a, he's not managing anything in Israel. Israel is a complete anarchy. Demonstrations against Netanyahu's government aren't new in Israel. But these mass protests renewed in recent weeks after the military recovered the bodies of six hostages from Gaza. Israel and U.S.-designated terror group Hamas continue blaming each other for a lack of a ceasefire deal that would include freeing remaining hostages. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.